Hello guys, I'm George. Today I'm visiting Oizumi Town in Gunma Prefecture, which is around 100 kilometers away from Tokyo. There are about 41,000 people in Oizumi Town, and about 20% of them are foreign citizens, mostly Brazilians. About 100 years ago, many Japanese people emigrated to Brazil due to economic reasons. But in the 1990s, Japan received thousands of Japanese descendants from Brazil who immigrated to work at factories in Oizumi, etc. So if you look around here, you can find shops with signs written in Portuguese. I visited Brazil last December and I miss Brazil so much. Eu te amo Brazil. During my stay there, I went to Liberdade in São Paulo, which is the largest Japanese community outside Japan. But today, I'm doing the complete opposite of what I did in Liberdade and showing you one of the largest Brazilian communities in Japan. Bora lá! First, I found a shop selling cassava, which is a popular food in Brazil and many countries in South America. What is this? Cassava. Cassava? Cassava? Ah. 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 <laughs> Obrigado. はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。は
which is the most famous and popular soda in Brazil. It tastes very tropical and fruity. I love it. Lastly, I got coxinha. It is a deep fried croquette made of shredded chicken and cheese. In fact, pastel and coxinha are by far the most consumed street food in Brazil. Que gostoso! Oh, it was great. Muito bom. After that, I visited Super Mercado Takara. Takara is the first of a chain of supermarkets run by Brazilians. They have products ranging from Brazilian condiments to daily necessities. One of the most popular items in this supermarket is Brazilian black bean for my beloved feijoada. Also, palmito, which is a heart of palm, is a very popular item, but the best selling item is of course meat. In Japan, besides the chicken, most of the meat dishes in Japanese cooking require thinly sliced beef and pork. So we don't usually use a big chunk of meat in our cooking and even most of Japan's supermarkets don't sell it. But look at this, this is totally Brazilian size. It reminds me of my beloved churrasco. Churrasco is going to be my dinner today. This supermarket also has a driving school, a bakery selling pão de queijo and small French loaves, and a small store selling imported clothing, shoes, and accessories. Before having churrasco dinner, I visited one of Japan's most popular convenience stores, Family Mart. I wondered if it's Brazilianized or not, since it's located in this Brazil town, but it was just regular Family Mart. It made me disappointed and even more hungry. All right, I came to a Brazilian restaurant called Paulista, which is right in front of the supermarket. They serve rodízio churrasco. Rodízio is the Portuguese word for rotation or turn, and it's an all-you-can-eat style service in Brazilian restaurants. In rodízio-style restaurants, servers bring meat on skewers and cut pieces onto your plate until you say stop. The rodízio experience usually starts with a visit to a salad bar. I got salad, rice, and feijão which is a Brazilian stew of beans with beef and pork. And I put some toasted cassava flour called farofa on top and mixed it. This is Brazilian style. And here our meat comes. The food here was well prepared and good quality, and the restaurant is clean and has a cozy atmosphere and good service too. I'd highly recommend this place, Paulista, for those who live in Japan but want to taste authentic Brazilian food. Alright, Johasco was pretty good, amazing, delicioso, gostoso, but I'm so full. I had a very good time here in Guma, Brazil town. There are a lot of Brazilian people here and they're all kind, so nice, and Chihasco is very good as always. Everything is perfect here. I would highly recommend coming here in your lifetime. All right, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day, bye!